Hello social cultural class, Jamie here. So today for my video I'm going to be talking about a decision I had to make in high school that sort of defined my high school college experience and who I am today. So a little backstory on my life. I grew up as an only child to parents who worked as musicians that played in bars and clubs throughout the Twin Cities in the 60s through the 80s. My dad plays guitar, self-taught himself, and he also sings. My mom also sings and self-taught herself drums. So basically, if anything is said in the household that remotely sounds like a song, you better believe that song will happen with harmonization. Being in this highly musical family, I always wanted to play music, but I was too impatient for piano and I didn't really want to sing. In my elementary school, students were able to participate in band in fourth grade, and I had my mind made up in first that I was going to play flute, percussion, and trombone were second and third. But let's be real, it was always going to be flute. So lo and behold, the time came, and at the top of my band for my right, flute. Although music was big in my family, my parents also signed me up for every sport imaginable. I tried soccer, basketball, volleyball, even fencing. But out of all the sports I tried, ended up sticking with slow pitch softball throughout my childhood and played on a highly competitive team where we competed every weekend during the summer. We did really well placing in almost all of our tournaments, including winning state and making trips to nationals. At one point in my life, I would say I was equally good at softball as I was at playing flute. Now going into high school, I wanted to join the fast pitch softball team, but I was also taking private flute lessons at the same time. Fast pitch cost quite a bit of money, and my flute teacher wanted me to get a professional flute to reach the next level. Now I know what you're thinking. Only child perks! You get to do both! No. My family's not the most financially secure. We make it work. I just couldn't do both. So my mom presented me with two options. Either I could go for fast pitch softball, or my parents could pay for a new flute. I remember not thinking very long when making that decision. Flute seemed really obvious at the time. After that choice, it wasn't long before I started participating in competitions and honor bands. I was a three-time winner of the North Suburban Scholarship Competition, two-time All-State Band participant, once ranked first chair, participation in MYS, and I was accepted in a national honor band at Carnegie Hall. Going into college at Gustavus, I received a music scholarship, and as a freshman, I was ranked third chair and primary piccolo player in the top band. I became a section leader my junior year and was a winner of the 2015 concerto competition my senior year. I am so happy and thankful for all those experiences. I've gained so many memories and friends by immersing myself in the music. But sometimes I wonder, what factors went into me picking flute over softball? How might my life have turned out if I picked softball over flute? Now going back to my decision to play flute, why did I pick it? Everyone recognizes that more girls seem to pick up a flute compared to boys, but why is that? One might be the perceived delicateness of the sound. Two might be the fact that it sounds high, kind of like a soprano vocalist, which are generally women. So flute gets judged for being a feminine instrument, even though many of the world's greatest virtuosos are men. So what if I was born or identified as a male? I probably wouldn't even have picked flute, and percussion would have been my next choice. So going back to that high school decision, if I had a choice between sports and music, and I identified as a guy, I might feel the societal pressure to choose the athletics. Or even if I just identified with more masculine qualities, I could have picked sports. Or if my family didn't value music as much as they did, I could have picked sports. Looking at my social economic status, I feel like in a roundabout way it helped me focus on one area instead of spreading my resources thin. If my family did have the finances for me to do both, I don't think I would have become as proficient in either activity. Finally, I think the fact that my family values music as much as they do really contributed to my high school and college musical experience. I don't think I would have had the same rewarding experience if I had chosen sports, but then again, who knows?